the headlines. Two village volunteers injured in fresh attack by Kuki militants towards Maite village after brief hiatus. District administration putting up all efforts for smooth conduct of first phase inner Manipur parliamentary constituency election. Concerns of other communities against inclusion of Mite Mite in ST list should be addressed through dialogue, says Dr. Bimol Akoja. And 24th Shumangrila Day organized. Good evening. Welcome to Eyes TV English News. I'm Survala Kangavam. Let's see the news in detail. Breaking the brief pause of normalcy in the state, Kuki militants today launched a fresh attack towards Maite village at Ingalog village, located around 10 kilometers away from Hairok. The attack ensued in a gunfight, leaving two village volunteers injured in the firing, which took place before dawn. As per reports, the Kuki militants came down from Geljang village under Machi police station and fired towards Ingalok village. A village volunteer who sustained injury in the incident was admitted at Raj City for treatment. Additional security force has entered the spot. Meanwhile, firing took place again this morning at around 9 a.m., where another village volunteer sustained injury. Returning officer of Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency and District Election Officer in Far West, T.H. Kiran Kumar, has said there will be 29 special polling stations for the internally displaced people in the Inner Manipur Constituency for the upcoming Phase 1 poll of the 18th Lok Sabha election. He made a statement while briefing media persons in a press meet held today at the court room of DEO Info West. The press meet was held to highlight the preparations and measures taken up by the district election office to ensure a smooth voting experience for the electors. SP Info West, KSH Shivkanta, ADMs and to other top officials of DEO Info West also took part in the press meet. DCTH Kiran Kumar stated that the Inner Manipur Parliamentary Constituency consists of a total of 32 ACs with 1,319 polling stations. In addition, there will be 29 special polling stations for internally displaced people. He also stated that the measures to be taken up at polling stations to ensure smooth polling includes deployment of micro-observers, 100% coverage of by videography, webcams, CCTVs, deployments of sector officers, BLOs, etc. The second, randomization and commissioning of EVMs and BB pads have been completed and the opening of the strong room will be done on 18th April at 6 a.m. and the closing off will be done on 19th April after receipt. Further, the DEO has also commenced a second round of inspection of expenditure registers on 12th April and a third round of inspection is scheduled on 16th April. The district election office has also taken up special measures to ease the traffic on dispersal day. The DEO Infal West and SP Infal West together sought the cooperation and understanding from the public to ensure a smooth and successful polling. They assured all that the authorities are putting up their best efforts to garner the confidence of the electors to come out freely and exercise their valuable voting rights. Law and order di matang da ko election di da magda yanga 144 sa laigani. Polling station jing da ako yung security ki measures layer ako marit hong na lay. Tawo do polling station da thoi ba ako yung jing three and tawo ba member may ambit half of this na yeng jan mada ako yung polling station jing da ako yung jing na ba vulnerable amadi critical polling station lay di. Hai ba polling station kudi mag 
vulnerable or the critical or the mayam say micro observer hai dana central government ki employee am am train tar ga employee ni mara yeng jan na batha ga ni hari ba staff mayam si officer mayam si observer ki maka do work of din polling station se imphal west 538 nai idp ki nipa na maga hana de ki le jaba 500 hari ba polling station mayam si video camera do no fix ho ni kharam na online da oi kharam na offline da oi ni adu 100% cover to ni si ki maka ta sector sector ki magi zone zone ki ki polling station tara tara ko magi sena na ba koi officer sector officer ha pani moi da evm exam ha pani police ki team khara ga koi cha challa ga adai da akoi ba da soi ba ngam ba ya ho da khuda ka changsan ba ya na na ba adu ko ba plan Angom Chabimol Akoyjam has said he has come out to contribute something for the state and the demand of the people for inclusion of Maitai in ST list is also his wish, regardless of the result of the ensuing election. He made a statement in a program organized by STDCM under the banner Know Your Candidate Stand on Mitai ST list with the MP candidate of 18 Lok Sabha election in order to share their views and stands on ST. In the meeting held at the residence of the candidate at Kashamtong, President and Secretary of STDCM and other office bearers attended the meeting. Speaking further, Bimol Lakoyjam said, if Mitai Maitai get constitutional protection under ST list, it will help in protection from the perspective of the Northeast people. He continued that when one is considered as tribe, it is seen as though the policymakers have a wish to protect the tribe. It is eminent to have thorough deliberation with the other communities that are against the inclusion of Mitai Mitai in ST list to know why they are against it and help them understand the sufferings of the Maitais. He also alleged that the present government is playing politics instead of doing the needful for inclusion of Mitai Mitai in ST list. So, I koina ST taling the moe de su akoina wari sabam chang evo kaino the mani kugi lady of fibam zidadi any tension I could mark to talk to my family, me na chance of feel that since you have tagging I let me na I do get such thing mom change I go my I I dekha le boko. Lay di be sakas na samal chenestri mo ni initiative logo mo tuo bne ba survey to tuo no yata isulla or go across the table. I do so hana officially me angle to koi matau ta di long term process amu tarono me se abom tu end kalle. 24th Sumang Lila Day, organized by Manipur State Sumang Lila Council, was held today at Iboyama Sumang Lila Sanglin Palace Compound. Commissioner, Department of Art and Culture, Mongjam Joy, President, Manipur State Sumang Lila Council, M. Punimashi Laima, President, Manipur State Cooperative Union, L. Tom Pisak, and Director, Tourism Department, W. Ibohal, graced as dignitaries of the function. During the function, the council honored the pioneers and late members of Sumang Lila by presenting gifts. An Iboyama Award was also conferred to Sumang Lila artist Braja Dugol Chandra Sharma in recognition for his contributions. Addressing the function, Commissioner M. Joy said, the declaration of April 12 as Sumang Lila Day back in 2002 is a historical milestone in the history of Sumang Lila and also recalled the development of Sumang Lila in the state. He said Sumang Lila provides a criticism of the society which helps in reforming the faults and shortcomings of the society. Later, he appealed the artists to preserve and maintain the culture and tradition despite the changes happening in the society. <laughs> Unknown miscreants set ablaze a sawmill located near Aimol Bazar in Palil at around 2.45 a.m. today. The sawmill belonged to one Mutum Rabichandra, aged about 56, of Palil Maning Lekai. The reason behind the arson and the perpetrators has not been confirmed.
While following the arson of the sawmill, additional police force rushed to the spot and conducted combing areas in the nearby areas. During the combing operation, some arms and ammunition were recovered. Five individuals suspected to be involved in the arson were also apprehended for further interrogation. Ex-Union Minister Thongnao Jam Chauba stated that the forthcoming election is an election that will save the Manipur and urged to vote for a party candidate who can save Manipur. He made the statement during an interaction program held in connection with the campaign of BJP candidate for 18th Lok Sabha election Thongnao Jam Bashant Kumar organized by Wang Goi. BJP Mandal at Oinam Huidrom Thiam Lesangkong. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh A. Sharda, Manipur in charge Abhay Kumar Giri and other eminent leaders attended the meeting. Former Union Minister Thanal Jam Chauba further said that the ensuing election will be the deciding factor for the future of Manipur. The election will be a way to bring solution to the crisis that has been raising for over 11 months in the state. He maintained that even if the people abstain from partaking in the elections, the election will Will be held as scheduled. The five year term for Prime Minister Narendra Modi will end on June 6, and if the Prime Minister does not take oath on June 6, President rule will be enforced. Hence, the election must be conducted, he added. Prime Minister do. Prime Minister ni yar kanda adu umba control to budul la kadori ni nagari control to uba kuki control to uba ma power iba adagi Prime Minister na to uraga biringa manaraga control to kadori ni ba to maduda direct hai bang umba unabang umba maron thopa me nikhi na mau na chalaga hai na bang umba na mani ya bigado bami do madugi party do madura board pi batai ne. Vishnupur police picked up a president of Kwaksify Youth Volunteer Organization along with four others after tension erupted over allegations of organizing meeting for election at Kwaksify under Vishnupur police station. It may be mentioned that joint resolution has been adopted by club, organization and made up by Apunba Loop in Kwaksify not to organize any meetings, gathering or gathering for food, distribution of money in connection with the 18 Lok Sabha election in the jurisdiction of Kwaksify. However, the unwanted incident erupted after those who went against the resolution were confronted. Condemning the incident, people from the area launched agitation from Kwaksify to Bishnupur Register along Tidim Road. Several Mayrapaiwis and club members of Kwaksify stated that in order to prevent such unwanted incidents related to election, restriction has been made early on not to conduct any activities in connection with election in the village area. ปลอบโอยเยอะไม่น่าปะพี่เออเราคุยไม่อันตรายที่ว่าไอ้ที่อะตู้กี่ร่างก็ทุกข์กันนะปะอาชุมบะมีปุ่นมาทําจิตตั
A sudden demonstration was staged by the locals of Sendam Chirang against the scheduled inner and outer Lok Sabha election to be held on 19th April. Speaking at the protest at Sendam Chirang, Haikam Amrabati stated that the conflict in the state that has been going on for over 11 months remained unresolved with no solution in sight. Many families in the French and vulnerable areas still endure the hardships and many are unable to return to their homes. At this juncture, the government going forward with the compulsion to hold MP elections is unfortunate for the people. Meanwhile, the people of the state are baffled by the fact that the Indian Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of Manipur have begun to speak when election is at hand. She continued that the act of Congress extending assistance at the relief camps of cookies at Saikul is surprising. She added that the people have grown weary on seeing the politics of hurling criticisms against one another when the election is near. She questioned why they had all remained silent earlier. She maintained that uncertainty looms for post-election. She then expressed that the people of Sendam Tirang does not wish to participate in the ensuing Lok Sabha election. Parasin <laughs> A one-day media awareness program on theme free, fair and ethical voting under the ages of CEO Manipur organized by Editors Guild to Manipur was held at the auditorium of DIPR at Kashampat. The awareness program was graced by Director of DIPR Dr. T.H. Charanjit, President of Amju Bijoy Kakching Tabam, President of EGM Kogendra Khumdra, and President of Hills Journalist Union Peter Adani as the main guest. ADM of Imphal West Samim Ahmed Shah, Additional Director of DIPR W. Pajatombi, Secretary of EGM Yumnam Rupachandra, and Senior Journalist A. Mobi spoke as the resource persons. Director DIPR TH Charanjit appealed to the editors of various media houses to monitor the news related to elections and publish or broadcast in a manner that will not create tension. <laughs> President of EGM Kogendra Komdram stated that the program was organized by calling experts with the aim to give awareness to the media regarding the do's and don'ts in the election and how the media persons have to give reporting so that the election can be conducted smoothly. Mayai Yumpam Kuman Kangle Apunba Itinfam has sought the attention of the authorities concerned, urging for immediate unconditional release of the Bombay led UNLF cadres on March 13. Speaking at a press meet at Manipur Press Club, spokesperson of the association Asim Roshan intimated that the association has met with Chief Minister N. Biren and also submitted memorandum to the Prime Minister's office and to the Home Ministry against the arrest of the three gathers. If gathers under peace talk process are arrested, the people will lose trust in the process, he said, and appeal to release the arrested gathers before the ensuing elections. Tokta 
Member of Women Wing of the Association, Kasham Sushila, expressed condemnation of the arrest and urged to maintain the meaning of peace talk. She also appealed for unconditional release of the arrested cadres at the earliest. Mama, we be a quick Tamukai Han Bigano, Rusing Ba Ahumbu condition, Amata Yaudana Tado Piraga, Imasi, he put the Shinebio, Manipur Miyangi put the Shinebio, Hibas here, Masi Simisari Pumis using Sinjari, India Women Gi Pumis using Sinjari. DC Infal East has issued an order notifying the timelines for collection of postal ballot or election duty certificate and felicitation centers in connection with the ensuing 18th Lok Sabha elections. Well, as per the order, votes of essential service voters will be polled at Panchayat Bhavan Hall, D.C. office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. from 14 to 16 of this month. EDC voters will cast vote by EVM in their place of duty using the EDC Form 12. Submission of Form 12A to concerned ARO should be by 5 p.m. of 15th April and last date of submission of Form 12 for postal ballot is notified on or before 5 p.m. of 12th of this month. Under the guidance of District Election Officer Bishnupur, SVEEP Nodal Officer Dr. Salam Dhana and volunteers carried out multimedia poster campaign for maximum voter turnout and inclusive voting in the 18th Lok Sabha election 2024 in all the petrol pumps of Bishnupur District today. Poster displaying various information such as a C-Vizil app, a digital platform for lodging complaint of violation of model code of conduct, 24 into 7 inquiry toll-free number 1950 for any election-related issues, message of voting rights, etc. are included in the posters. As a part of systematic Voters' Education and Electoral Participation Campaign T-shirts were launched today at Longmai Bazar Noni by the Nodal Officer Xavier Longmai in presence of SDC of Noni Headquarter Gaihiam Palme. Right after the launching program, cleanliness drive was carried out at Longmai Bazar and in public places. The cleanliness drive was joined by the school students, senior citizens, Longmai Bazar board members and various CSO leaders. District Election Office Kam Jong on, thurs on Thursday conducted SVEEP campaign at various parts of the district with the theme, No Voters to be Left Behind. The campaign was conducted to educate the electors about their democratic right to vote and also to give awareness to the people about the importance of free and fair elections. Further, third batch of polling officers training was also held at Kam Jong Election Hall, Mini Secretariat, Ukrol. A total of 37 polling officers, including 18 female POs, took part in the training. A two days mega eye surgery camp organized by District Health Society Tamilong under National Program for Control of Blindness kicked off at Duigailong Tamilong District Hospital today. Led by Assistant Professor Jennings Dr. Anthony Kamsong, a total of 405 patients were screened on the first day, out of which 37 patients were selected to undergo eye surgery. District Society also provided spectacles to around 250 patients, and medicines were also provided to patients. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday dared the opposition to restore Article 370, saying he had not only abrogated the provision, but also buried its debris deep in the ground. PM Modi made the statement in his first election rally in Udhampur to seek support from Union Minister Jitendra Singh and Jugal Kishore, who are seeking their third consecutive term from Udhampur and Jammu, respectively. Modi said post revocation of Article 370, the Congress led INDI alliance tried to spread misconception about in its other states, but BJP have made Article 370 a history. The Prime Minister underlined how the situation in Jammu and Kashmir had improved over the last decade, particularly after abrogation of Article 370 in 2019, saying this was the first time after decades that elections were taking place in Jammu and Kashmir without fear of terrorism and cross-border firing. 
The Ministry of External Affairs on Friday issued a travel advisory urging all Indian citizens to refrain from traveling to Iran or Israel until further notice. The advisory, prompted by escalating tensions in the region, encouraged Indian nationals currently residing in Iran or Israel to contact the nearest Indian embassies and register themselves with the authorities. They were also advised to exercise extreme caution and limit their movements to essential activities only. The advisory the advisory comes after Iran threatened reprisals over Israeli strike on the Iranian consul consulate in Syria, sparking fears of an escalation of violence in the Middle East. Iran has vowed revenge for the April 1 airstrike on its embassy compound in Damascus that killed top Iranian general and six other Iranian military officers. Members of the UN Security Council failed to reach a consensus on a bid by Palestinians for full UN membership, meaning the long short effort is now likely headed for a more formal council vote. As per reports, the Palestinians who have who have had observer status at the world body since 2012 have lobbied for years to gain full membership which would amount to recognition of palestinian statehood during its closed door meeting malstein ambassador vanessa frazier said there was no concession however two-thirds of the members were in favor of full membership according to diplomatic sources a vote could be held on april 18 brought forward by algeria which represents arab nations on the council even if the matter were to receive the necessary nine of 15 votes observers predict a veto from the united states and before we wind our top stories once again Two village volunteers injured in fresh attack by cookie militants towards maite village after brief hiatus District administration putting up all efforts for smooth conduct of first phase in the Manipur parliamentary constituency election. Concerns of other communities against inclusion of Mitai Mitai in ST list should be addressed through dialogue, says Dr. Bimol Akoicham. And 24th Sumang Lila Day organized. Well, thank you so much for joining with us and good night.